The highest energy density batteries in the world that are capable right now of being mass produced can also be charged faster than any other batteries in the world. Now, everyone was a bit skeptical of this technology. They were thinking, oh, it's all too good to be true. But now it's all been validated by a third party. Not only validated, but proven to last in the real world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. Thank you for tuning in. Great to have you. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. And also thanks, big thanks to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members. If you want to be a YouTube member, you get access to one video in advance per day. So check out that option in the description below. Those of you who are new to the channel, we've done more than two and a half thousand videos over the past just over 18 months since we started this channel. And it's been an amazing journey, but we're not stopping here. Next year, we'll be at Fully Charged, the biggest electric car show in the world in March. I'll be presenting there. I'd love to come and see you, all of you, who are from Australia. That'll be in March in Sydney. Then I'll be in London the following month. Love to see you in London if you're from Europe or from the UK. And then, of course, in North America, in, in fact, San Diego, in October of 2023. I'll put a link in the description below to a 10% discount on tickets for Sydney. And I'll have the same code for the other shows closer to the date of the show. If you haven't been fully charged, you need to go check it out. It's amazing. Israeli company Stordot, which have a current market value of just over 1.5 billion US dollars, have been making some interesting claims. Now, they have a 4680 cylindrical type battery. They say it has the highest energy density of any batteries in the world, 300 watts per kilo. And they also say you can charge the batteries to 80% in five minutes. That's for a 100 mile range, 200 mile range, 10 minutes, 10 minutes to charge the highest energy density batteries in the world. All sounds too good to be true. That's what a lot of people thought. That's why not a lot of people have been talking about them. However, their claims have now been validated by a third party saying, yes, it's correct. They weren't lying. And in fact, these batteries can be mass produced very quickly and very soon. What does all of this mean? This is a revolutionary change to batteries. StoreDot, in my opinion, could become one of the biggest battery companies in the world. And at least these batteries could even be used straight away in Teslas. I mean, they're the right size to go straight into Tesla's electric cars. Of course, after many years of reporting on EVs, many people are skeptical on technology. They hear all of these kinds of amazing things, watch YouTube videos, people are promising incredible stuff. And it's just like stuff where it's theoretical, it's conceptual, but this is different. Solid state batteries may be one of the first EV battery breakthroughs to come to mind when you think about high energy density batteries and the future of the energy industry, of the battery industry. But I don't think that's true. And I've said that on the channel a few times. Experts are now saying we're at least six years away from any real solid state batteries. Now, if you've been listening to Toyota for years, yeah, I understand you would have been maybe a bit duped. Toyota said that its EVs today would all be solid state battery packs. That's what they said back in 2015, 16, 17. They said in 2021, their electric cars would all be powered by solid state batteries. Now, of course, they don't have a solid state battery capable of powering a car. Maybe they have one, but it's certainly not an affordable price. And it's certainly not going to be going into any of their electric cars within the next few years, even though Toyota is claiming otherwise. In my opinion, batteries like this are the real deal. They're not theoretical. They're not conceptual. And I think they are going to be seen in electric cars mass produced within a short period of time. Stordot is the developer of what it calls the extreme fast charging or XFC batteries that are specifically designed for EVs. Stordot says that by 2024, its XFC batteries will be capable of accepting 100 miles of charge in five minutes. In fact, they can do it now, but 2024 is when they'll be mass produced, say the company. They expect the 100 mile charging time to reduce by three minutes by 2028 and two minutes by the end of the decade. Now, I don't know if any of that's true, but I do know that their claims today and what their batteries can do in 2024 have been proven to be correct. Energy S, Schmuel de Leon Energy, which is called SDLE for short, 
is an independent battery lab, and they recently tested Stordot's 30 amp hour pouch cell XFC batteries. Now, of course, these are the pouch cell versions. These are not the 4680 batteries, which would go straight, could go straight into a Tesla vehicle, but I believe the technology applies to those batteries as well. These are ready for production for electric vehicles right now. It concluded, the battery tech boasts superior fast charging capability and high energy density, and they're already commercially available. According to Green Car Congress, SDLE put the EV batteries through 1,000 consecutive extreme fast charging cycles. So we're talking 1,000 fast charges, which pretty much no one will do. This is It'd be incredibly rare to do that within the space of 10 years if you're the average electric vehicle owner to fast charge them 1,000 times. However, they completed the tests according to their energy density, charging rate, and operating conditions and cycling. The test showed that the batteries leave the sector in energy density at 300 watts per kilo. What does all this mean? It means three things. Here are the three things that we need to take away. Highest energy density batteries, right? You can charge them 1,000 times, well, significantly more than 1,000 fast charging times. That's proven. And also it's proven is that they will charge incredibly quickly without a lot of battery degradation. 200 miles of range in 10 minutes. Of course, you're going to need the right charger. That's the big bottleneck here. How do you actually find a charger capable of charging at this speed? But the key point is that these battery packs would be future-proofed. And it would mean that vehicles, say, more expensive vehicles, Tesla Model S, Porsche Taycan, etc., more higher-end cars might see these first, and then this technology will filter on down to the more affordable cars. That's pretty much how it works. Ultimately though, are solid state batteries gonna have an easy path? They're not, because they're gonna to have to contend with this type of battery technology. They'll have to be better. Why would not Why would you actually go with a solid state battery if current existing proven technology is proven to work better? So solid state batteries will have a hard job ahead of them in order to prove themselves. The key question is here, by the time solid state batteries come to market, say in 2028, how good will current existing sodium and lithium battery technology be? It will be significantly better than where we're at today. It continues to improve. Energy densities continue to get better. Longevity continues to get better. That's going to be tough. Solid state will have a hard road. But all of this leads to one thing. The future of electric cars is, in my view, vehicles which will easily be able to do 600 plus miles of range. That's 1,000 kilometers. They will be common. In fact, what will happen is, as gas stations become less popular, as more people buy EVs, many of them will shut down, and range anxiety won't exist for electric car drivers, but it most certainly will exist for people who continue to drive gasoline and diesel powered vehicles. That's the future. I look forward to it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye-bye.